Now, many districts in our area are making some changes because of the heat. That includes Rochester City Schools. Starting tomorrow, pre-K through 8th grade will operate on an early dismissal schedule that will run the rest of the week, last week of the year. Mayor Malik Evans has also extended the city's cool sweep operation. That means our centers, libraries, and spray parks have all extended their hours through Friday. Our intention was to get the message out as soon as possible, as soon as we had a clear uh, decision made. So we really did our best to get that out to our families as soon as possible. Uh, the city's rec centers are open uh, this week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So that's an alternative uh, possibly for families. Uh, but we did our really best to get the message out as soon as we possibly can to help in, in helping them have time to plan for uh, arrangements for their scholars. District leaders with RCSD note students will be provided a lunch before they are sent home for those half days. High schoolers will continue to report for their scheduled final exams and regents. School buildings and libraries, though, will not be open Wednesday to observe Juneteenth, as is the case for other districts across the area. And for the very latest information and details from our local school districts, we encourage you to head to our website, rochesterfirst.com. So when it comes to those changes, for RCSD. Aron Spitzer caught up with a couple of parents to learn more on how they're making adjustments in the days ahead. The Rochester City School District has announced significant scheduling changes this week because of the heat. Now that includes the cancellation of all after school activities. Not much you can do. Uh, the school doesn't really have air conditioning. It's not fair to the kids or staff to be in there when it's this hot. They already have off Wednesday, so it's what it is. <laughs> they need air conditioner because Rochester weather is very unpredictable. You know, we can have 90 and then tomorrow we can be in the 50s, you know, so I think it was a good call. But for some, the last minute notice makes finding child care a challenge. We have to rearrange our whole schedule to make sure that somebody is there for them at home and it's it's difficult. City R centers, libraries, and spray parks have also extended their hours through Friday as the anticipated heat is expected to make its way in. For some caretakers, though, the high temperatures aren't as much of a concern. It's summertime. They, the kids, yeah, the buses are hot. It's hot outside, but it's summer. It's, what do you expect it to be? 60 degrees all year, 50 degrees all year? No, it's not a concern to me at all. Most all of them bring water bottles to school. The city, along with RCSD, have announced that libraries, along with school buildings, will be closed on Wednesday in observance of Juneteenth. Reporting from Rochester, Oran Spitzer, News 8.